Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna discuss whether going to an MS is good or going to an MTech is a better option. Generally, we find a lot of toppers prefer MTech because of its duration. Now, I'll discuss what are the pros and cons of the MTech and MS degrees, which one to choose and which has better opportunities and what is the best of this two so let's go and check out the reasons reason is a procedure for joining a college i'll only discuss about iits the rest of the things and it is also uh, may follow the same things but i'm not sure about what is the procedure of joining in an iits uh, this mostly covers the joining procedure of IITs. Mostly all the other institutes also follow the same procedure like NITs, private colleges and other government universities also follow the same procedure as that of the IITs. So let's now quickly see the uh, pros and cons. For MTech it is through GATE and for MS also it is through GATE but for MTech uh, the only criteria is the GATE and some IITs will conduct the uh, interviews and they might also conduct some examinations for the admission. They will consider those kind of things for a certain weightage and they will accumulate the weightage of it and GATE score and they will announce the results. For MS, they'll consider the GATE score as a cutoff. They'll conduct an examination and an interview. Comparatively, MS scores show up with a very less cutoff score. For example, if for MTech the cutoff is 800 or 750, in the MS it will be around 650. So for an overview, I just gave an example. Now let's go to reason number 2. What will happen in MS and MTech after getting into an IIT? Now in MS as it is a research program, soon after getting into the IIT you have to choose your guide based on the subject of interest and throughout the course you will be allotted the same guide for your knowledge and whatever you have to do further he'll help you the guide is the professor in the department on the specified field which you are interested in in the mtech it is not the scenario mtech is a course based uh, degree up to two semesters you will be hard working on courses you will be allotted a guide and you will be working on a project the third and most important reason is stipend unfortunately the stipend for MTech guys up to now has no information of getting hiked but for research scholars in India recently the government of India announced the hike of 20% in their stipends so MS guys will be getting about 1.2 times of MTech guys stipend so this is a big catch here the scale will be 15k for M MS guy per month and 12.4k for mtech guys the next reason is duration of the course and the amount of courses you have to complete generally in ms there will be around 6 to 10 courses throughout the ms program and you have to complete these courses for getting your degree ms is mainly a research based degree so you don't have to complete much of the courses unless you want to do anything for your own sake the prescribed courses are very less and in mtech guys this is mainly a course based degree so you have to complete about 10 to 12 courses based on the college and you have to do these in the first semester you have to do about five to six compulsory courses where life is pretty hectic and later on you can choose the electives and you can complete the rest of the courses in the three semesters 
the project will start in the second year the duration of ms course will be 2 to 3 years based on the completion speed of yours and the maximum time up to which you are getting stipend is 3 years and in mtech it is only 2 years in mtech also it will happen that if your project did not finish on time you have to extend your time in the college and you will not be getting the stipend uh, beyond 2 years of time in ms you can get it beyond 2 years and you can go up to 3 years because it is a research based thing the next reason is opportunities frankly to say ms and mtech guys have the same opportunities in fact you can say that ms guys have better opportunities than mtech guys because at the time of placement the company which is looking for a specific profile or a lot of in-depth knowledge of the subject will do a favor for ms student not the mtech students because they have an overall view of several courses but they don't have a such an in-depth view of the subject so it will favor the ms students and the kind of placement percentage for mtech and ms guys will be around 70 to 80 percent but the reality is ms and mtech guys have the same opportunities in fact their placement percentage is same for ms the admissions will be open for summer and winter but for mtech it is only once a year that is through gate and after gate uh, roughly in may june they'll have an admission and in ms there is a special opportunity or you can say this is a compulsory opportunity for ms students uh, in comparison to mtech students because the ms students will be funded for attending an international conference so the opportunity is you can go for a foreign country and attend a conference there at a free of cost or totally at a free of cost which is funded by the university there are a lot of things you can learn in that journey preparing for that conference everything is a learning experience but in mtech you can do as per your wish but it's not compulsory and it may not be funded by the university if you want you can do it is not a compulsory condition given by the universities so ms has an added advantage here in terms of knowledge and stipend and international conferences and one more thing i want to add up is ms is a kind of leisure course you can say that uh, it's a leisure course because there are a less number of courses to be completed throughout the program and in mtech there are more number of courses to be completed so if you want to switch into any other field or let us say learning java to become a software developer if you want to become a software developer from mechanical engineering doing ms degree there is a lot of time for you to learn this software or programming language to learn it and master it whereas in mtech there is a less amount of time so that you can't spend such amount of time on and to get admission into phd both the guys have the same opportunities but here also ms guys have an added advantage because they have worked on research programs so they can enjoy the procedure of research in the PhD as they already know that how the research kind of works will be how we have to do research everything that they will learn in MS but uh, most of the MTech guys so to sum it on a whole the added advantages of MS are more than MTech in kind of stipend in kinds of leisureness in kind of depth of knowledge in the kind of opportunities of attending international conferences and doing phd also so guys don't underestimate the ms as all the kind of people do and waste some more years sitting on gate for mtech admission or psus so if you get an opportunity of joining ms in a very good iit or direct phd in a very good iit that will be a very good option than mtech so please choose for it that's it for today guys if you have any comments uh, if you have any doubts you can comment below and i'll always revert back to you please like share and subscribe to my channel so that it will be an encouragement for me to share this kind of information to you and please comment below if you have any doubts thank you